Mr. Foreign Minister, so you have always been very outspoken about security guarantees for Ukraine. Is this enough what NATO has offered? I am satisfied because we are a realistic nation as well. Uh, be honest, like three, four months ago, nobody was uh, talking about uh, the Ukrainian full membership of NATO. Now we decided a lot. We, we decided the path for Ukrainian membership uh, of NATO. Uh, big things as, uh, as removing uh, the membership action plan, which was just between of uh, the real decisions as well. The council, what we have now, as well, the foreign ministers procedures uh, annually, like at least like twice a year. And this is a reality. But also the real uh, military guarantees in the meaning of uh, military support for a long term. So we have uh, done a very serious and very pragmatical decisions. And I understand as well that some people's frustration about, because Ukrainians at war in, in real time, they are losing their best sons, their raping of uh, women and the deportation of children. But we finally uh, give for Ukraine everything what we can. And there is a the certain and clear path uh, towards the membership of NATO for Ukraine. And it started yesterday. You say it's a clear path. On the other hand, you have been quoted in Estonian media that the only security guarantee can be NATO. So they will not have the NATO membership now. So is Ukrainian uh, country now defenseless without NATO? Uh, Ukraine is more supported than ever before. But of course, everybody understands, and also Ukrainians, that there won't be the full membership during this uh, summit here. And there won't be the full membership when the active war is ongoing. But I'm satisfied as well with it, this decision that we didn't uh, fix the date or the real conditions uh, when Ukraine will become the member of uh, NATO. Because then Putin can use it as a frozen uh, conflict and whatever we have seen already and witnessed before and with the Georgia. So uh, we decided then uh, Ukraine will become the full member of NATO when the time is right. And it can be whenever in the good means. So we are free to decide. And, uh, but the main important thing is that now the process started in real life. And uh, this is the most important and realistic decision. And, uh, and our expectations were really fit on that decision. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about the new uh, council between NATO and uh, Ukraine. This will start today. So what are your expectations on this council? Uh, this council actually means that uh, if, we, if we see the Article 4, which is a consulting uh, uh, process uh, between the member states, the council is the same. Actually, Ukraine is a part of this consulting uh, level. And uh, today we have the first council meeting, but the council is actually as an organization or the body 24-7, which can work and we can, which can discuss and also uh, having the, the, the better understanding uh, ongoing process. So it is important as well. So then the final question for you personally, when will Ukraine be a full member of NATO? I really do hope that uh, exactly when uh, the active uh, situation on the ground will finish, then we will start to uh, make decisions. But I'm happy as well. You can imagine that how hard was the process for Sweden to become the full member. So we must be realistic. But the case is we must support Ukraine. And there is a path and realistic process what started from yesterday. Thank you so much for your answers, Foreign Minister Chakna. Thank you.